Hi friends all around the world. We miss you. We really do. We miss singing and we miss fellowshipping with each one of you, meeting you and praying with you. And our hope and our prayer is that we can be back doing that really soon. In the meantime, we've been wanting to share some things that are on our hearts with each one of you. And today I kind of want to talk a little bit about peace. We're at a time in Earth's history where there's pretty much anything but peace. The world is dealing with a global pandemic that is affecting each country and each person in different ways around the world. And then on top of that, we still have to deal with existing issues of uh, famine and of storms of destruction, earthquakes. There's just so much that we're dealing with in this time of our lives, in the time of Earth's history. And it's really easy to get so caught up in what the world is telling us. And then panic sets in. And uh, this is something that God doesn't want us to experience. He doesn't want us to live in a state of fear. And when I can view the world situations through the lens of God, I have a very different perspective. And I hope that each one of you can draw close to God and can find that perspective of looking through God's lens. I want to share a little bit about peace with you today. This is a time when it's not easy to feel that, especially in our humanness. But God tells us so many places in the Bible. He tells us about the peace that he provides and the peace that he has left with us. And I'm reminded of when he was speaking to his disciples and his followers right before he died. And he said that even though he would be going away, that he was going to leave his Holy Spirit to be with each one of us and to be peace with each one of us. He actually says here in John 14, I'm reading from my from my Bible here. I usually use an electronic Bible, but we're using the, the paper one today. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. If you want to follow along or if you want to look this up later in your own translation. And it is John 14, 27. And Jesus says, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give isn't like the peace that the world gives. So don't be troubled or afraid. That's beautiful, right? That's, that's one of the, the many beautiful places that, that he mentions uh, the peace in the Bible. Another one over in the book of John 16. So this is not too far away from John 14. John 16, 33. I've told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Such beautiful promises that God's given us in the Bible about peace. And even back in the story of when he calmed the storm, when he was on the lake with his disciples and he fell asleep in the back of the boat. My translation here says he was sleeping with his head on a cushion, and I can just imagine him with the beautiful, gentle rock um, of the peaceful water. And the storm comes and his disciples are crying out to him. Don't you even care that we're going to go down? And when he woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the water, quiet down. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. And he asked them, why are you so afraid? Do you still not have faith in me? And they were filled with awe and they said among themselves, who is this man that even the wind and waves obey him? So many examples in the Bible of God providing peace when there seemed to be no other option. Today, you might feel like your life is just in complete chaos and you're spiraling out of control. I want to tell you today that God is here to speak peace into your life and into my life, and that we are not defined by our circumstances and by the things that are going on around us in the world. What we are defined as are we are children 
of the king of heaven. We are children of God. And so we don't have to live by those confinements and constraints of the world because God has spoken his peace, his calm, his joy, and his happiness into each one of us. And despite what's happening around us, we can have each of those things in our lives. So listen to the words of this song and be reminded and be encouraged that God is the peace speaker in the midst of the storm. Storm clouds come. 